The very moment I woke up this morning, I, I was really, really excited. I thought to myself, this day is really special in my life. And it has been special all day long. I'm still excited. I'm still excited. I'm like, I got the same excitement I had when I woke up this morning. How special this day is, has been in my life. Now, it turns out to be that what has made and what is making this day so special in my life, it's the same thing that's making this day special in your life. What do you think it is? This is the very first time in my entire life. I've been around a long time. This is the very first time in my entire life I have lived February the 27th, 2021. I have never done it before. And when I woke up this morning, I thought to myself, this is a whole new experience. I'm bound to make a few mistakes. I've never lived this day before in my life. I thought if I make a few mistakes today, I'm going to have to tell someone, hey, cut me some slack. I'm doing something I've never done before. And now I'm thinking about when I go to sleep tonight, I probably won't be able to sleep a week. Because I'm thinking about tomorrow, I have never lived in my entire life, February the 28th, 2021. I've never done it before. Isn't that exciting? Did you wake up this morning excited? Are you going to go to sleep excited to wake up tomorrow morning because you've never lived February 28th, 2021 before? You should. And I said to myself, Kenny, make sure during this special day in your life, a day you've never, ever lived before, and you're only going to do it once. Make sure you do not allow the regret of yesterday or worry about tomorrow infiltrate and ruin this day. You see, it turns out to be the key point of today's gospel reading, and the message of today's gospel reading is short, but it's powerful, and hopefully it's one that, that, that you just remember. Now, the gospel comes out of the full text I read, the ninth chapter of Mark, verses 2 to 10. But Jesus, in today's gospel reading, realizes, i got to make sure I spend time with my disciples. Because Jesus realized, hey, there's always going to be something to do. And if I tell my disciples we're going to hang out tomorrow because we've got all of these things to do today, then tomorrow probably will never come. So I'm going to put off to the side everything I had planned or everything I could do today. I'm putting all that off to the side and saying to the fellas, we're hanging out together today. Let's take a look at verse 2 and verse 5 of the ninth chapter of Mark. It's a very important verse, especially if we make those two verses a part of our life. It says, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and lifted them up on a high mountain apart by themselves. He was transfigured before them and his clothes became dazzling white. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let's make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. You see, when you look at those two verses, Jesus realized he wasn't going to be with his disciples forever. Jesus realized the amount of time he had left with his disciples was very short, and it was going to be cut even shorter by the fact that Jesus would be assassinated by crucifixion. So he realized each moment each day I wake up and my disciples are with me and I'm with them. Hey, these are some special moments. And I'm going to make sure that I make those moments special because I'm going to take in this particular case, although I have 12 disciples, Jesus always liked to break down the group of disciples of 12 down into smaller groups. So you could have a more intimate relationship and bonding with each other. So in this particular case, he takes Peter, James, and John. Guys, we're just going to hang out together today. Sure, there's a lot of mission work to do, and there's a lot of things that we can do, but guess what? We're not going to do it today because we're going to go up on that mount together and just enjoy each other's company. We're going to make this day as special as it is. And look at Peter's response. Take a look. The lower probably third of that two verses. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. What exactly is Peter saying to Jesus? He's saying, Jesus, this has been a very special time in our lives. I want to build three monuments, three tents, which are actually monuments. So years from now, if I ever ascend this mountain, I'll see those monuments. I'll realize the day that, that special day we hung out together. Peter, James, John, and Jesus all together. You see, what, what was special about that is Peter enjoyed the time they spent together while it was occurring, not five years later in retrospect. 
How often we appreciate something once it is over, when in fact sometimes we didn't appreciate it while it was occurring. And Jesus appreciated that time, so did Peter, so did James, and so did John, while it was occurring. You see, Peter was right. Peter had no way of knowing if the future would be better or if the future would be worse. All he knew was right now, right today, it doesn't get any better than this. He enjoyed that time they mingled together. You see, Peter was right. Peter didn't know that just a few days after this takes place, Peter himself would deny his buddy Jesus and Jesus would be crucified. He didn't know that. All he knew is today's special because it's just one of few days that we live in the face of this earth and I'm spending it with three other fellows, three of my friends, Jesus, James, and John, and I, Peter, make four. But that's true in all of our lives. It's a simple little message. Today, the rest of today, this is special. You want to make sure you treat the rest of this day special. You have never, ever lived this day before in your entire life. How are you going to spend it? How special are you going to make it? There was this little boy, Billy. Billy's dad said to him one, one day, he said, you know, Billy, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I'm going to take your mom out for a very special Valentine." So we're going to either take you over to Grandpa Joe or Grandpa Jim. One or the other is going to watch you. Who would you rather watch you tomorrow? Will I take your mom out for Valentine's Day? And without any hesitation, little Billy said, I want to go to Grandpa Joe's. You don't want to go to Grandpa Jim's? No, I don't want to go to Grandpa Jim. I want to go to Grandpa Joe. Well, why do you want to go to Grandpa Joe rather than Grandpa Jim? Well, well Dad, because this reason. When I go to Grandpa Joe, Grandpa Joe plays with me. Grandpa Jim only finds something for me to do. And that's the difference. Because he, when I'm there, he realizes I'm special. I'm his grandson, not that that makes me special, but he realizes since I am little, in my small little world, he's a big part of it. But as I grow older and my world becomes bigger, his part in it's going to become smaller. And Grandpa Joe knows that. So he plays with me. The other Grandpa, he never plays with me. He has no time for me. Here, do this or do that. And then he goes about what he was doing before I got there. He realizes, Grandpa Joe, that I'm special. And he spends time with me. You know, that's a great challenge for all of us. That's the message of those two verses, the entire text of the gospel. But these two verses stand out like a neon sign. What does that really mean? What it means is that our days are limited. The amount of days we live are short. And if you're moving through life, and right now in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, the amount of days you have lived, probably a lot greater than the amount of days you have yet to live. Which means what? Every morning you wake up, if the good Lord is kind enough to you to allow you to open up your eyes and wake up in that morning, that is an extremely special day. And you should wake up with exuberance and excitement and joy and gratitude saying, God, thank you. Because tomorrow morning when you wake up, you might say it's another humdrum day, no big deal. It is a very, very big deal. Because it'll be the first time in your entire life that you have the chance to live February the 28th, 2021. You've never done it before. Hopefully all have the opportunity here without exception to do it tomorrow. That's exciting. And so what you should say tomorrow is you should say for the rest of the day, what should I do? Try to get caught up in all the things I have to do. And once I get caught up, because I'm so busy, then I'll spend time with family and friends. They'll have to put everything on hold until I get caught up. Or do what Jesus did. He said, Peter, James, and John, guess what we're doing today? We're hanging out. We're going up on a mountain. This day is special. We're going to spend time together. That little boy was right. I like spending time with Grandpa Joe. Because Grandpa, Grandpa Joe plays with me. Grandpa Jim only find something for me to do.